Enabling your PC to type Chinese is extremely easy. What you have to do is you click the start button, go to control panel, in here you see change keyboards or other input methods, so you click that. There's a dialog that will appear and on the third tab here you have the change keyboards button. So click that button, another dialog comes up here. Over here you need to add additional language. You will see that all keyboards are listed in so by default I have only US keyboard installed so I'm going to add another one. I'm going to type Chinese. This is what I need now. And I'm going to select the keyboard Chinese simplified Microsoft Pinion ABC input style. I'm going to click OK and you see this keyboard is added. So you can go click that keyboard, click properties and another dialog pops up where you can configure the switching sequence and other different Chinese keyboard options. So you can click OK in both dialogs and now I'm pretty much ready with my keyboard elation. Another thing that I want to do, there's a second thing that I need to do, is locate this language bar. And on the language bar you will see the current keyboard selected. I have English, United States, which means I can type English characters now. If I want to type Chinese, I just switch to Chinese. But there's actually one more important thing that needs to be done here. My keyboard, as it is now, doesn't have any Chinese characters on it, so I'm not really sure what exactly do I need to press in order to get a Chinese character. So what I'm going to do, I order a set of keyboard stickers, which is pretty easy to do if you go to www.latkey.com. They sell plenty of different language stickers to enable your keyboard typing foreign languages. So what you have to do here is you have to find Chinese on the right set section of the site homepage. And you can pick one of the colors you like most. Some of them are transparent, so if you want to see the original letters of your key on your keyboard, you can pick those. Or uh, there is a <coughs> set of other types of Chinese stickers, for example, the silver ones, which have both the English original alphabet and Chinese uh, Bobomofo alphabet. So you just pick one, click by now, enter your address <coughs> and uh, click the order now button so the in a couple of days you will receive the order once you receive the order you should have something like this this is a set of keyboard stickers that you can apply I have a couple more to show you um, so what, do you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel, peel a sticker out and uh, just stick it onto the keyboard. It's very clean, tidy, sticks well and detaches well as well so it doesn't damage the keyboard. I'm going to stick one up to the D button and uh, just to show you one more. Peel it, stick, and that's it. So I have the solar keyboard and uh, the solar stickers look uh, fairly good on that one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start my favorite uh, editor, which is Microsoft Word, and I'm going to type a couple of uh, characters here you will immediately see a new features up on the ribbon that are enabled only for Chinese alphabet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch to the Chinese alphabet and you immediately see the, this was reflected in the longer bar, a language bar up, up there. So you st when you start typing, you just click the, uh, any of the characters, you will see it's underlined, so you click the space bar and that gives you a set of different similar characters applicable for this key. 
in the input method editor. So you can either press the enter key to choose one or click the mouse. And this is the character you want. You can switch between input methods here. And now you can type plain English characters. So that basically concludes the session.